This video is an overview of how to set up your sand filter pump. It is important to read and follow all the instructions in your owner's manual. Failure to do so could result in injury or product damage. Due to continual product improvement, actual product may vary from product pictured in this DVD. Assembly of your Intex 16-inch sand filter is easy but requires some special attention to location and a team of an adult and a helper for setup. Note that sand filters remove suspended particles from the water only. Consult your local dealer for sanitizing methods. Provide a level, stable base which is vibration free. The water outlet from the pump should face the pool. The filter pump should be as far from the pool as the hoses will allow. Check the location carefully since the filter will be heavy after it is filled with sand. Good air circulation is important for motor cooling. You will also need 100 pounds, 45 kilograms, of number 20 silica sand to complete the setup for the 16 inch sand filter. Do not use synthetic sand. Remove the sand filter and all the accessories from the packaging. Inspect for visible damage. Contact the Intex Service Center if damage is evident. Consult your owner's manual. Unscrew the leaf trap cover counterclockwise and take out the basket and filter housing nut. Push the pre-filter housing against the motor water inlet and screw it onto the motor water inlet with the filter housing nut. Replace the leaf basket and cover. Place the tank support base in the selected position. Some countries require that the product be secured to the ground or a base in a level, upright position. Check for local requirements. Place the tank on the base as shown. Connect the motor pre-filter assembly to the tank support base with the water inlet hose connection facing the pool. Lay the filter grid on a flat surface and screw the center onto it by hand. Insert the assembly into the tank and fit it snugly into the bottom of the tank. The pipe must be vertical and centered. Before putting sand in the tank, cover the top of the center pipe to keep out sand. The recommended quantity of sand is between 88 and 110 pounds. While one person holds the center pipe straight, half of the sand can be slowly poured into the tank. Add water to the tank until it just covers the sand as a cushion when the rest of the sand is poured. Add more sand until the level is between the minimum and maximum marks on the center pipe. Spread the sand out evenly by hand. Remove the protective cover from the pipe and wash any sand from the top edge of the tank. Check to make sure the center pipe is still centered in the tank so the valve cover will fit. Place tank o-ring around the top edge of the tank. Make sure no sand is trapped in the process. Lower the six-way valve slowly onto the tank, ensuring that the bypass pipe under the valve fits securely into the center pipe. Improper installation could be hazardous. Consult the manual carefully during setup. Check to make sure L-shaped O-rings are in place on both the valve inlet and the motor outlet. Connect the short interconnecting hose between the motor and the filter. Install the flange around the tank and six-way valve flanges. Insert the clamp bolt into the pre-installed nut on the clamp and tighten it securely with the wrench provided. For larger pools, 
unscrew the large threaded strainer connectors from the plunger valves and set the valves aside along with their step washers. Remove the large nuts from the connectors and from inside the pool, insert the large pool inlet nozzle with the flat black washer through the highest connector hole. From outside the pool liner, replace the nut and make sure it is finger tight. Reconnect the plunger valves with the black step washers in place on the pool connectors. Make sure both valves are in the closed and locked position. If you have a 16 foot or smaller pool with 1 and 1 4 inch diameter hoses with hose clamps and black hat shaped plugs for the sidewall, follow these steps to adapt the smaller hose fittings to the plunger valves and 1 and 1 inch hoses included with the filter unit. If you have water in the pool already, unscrew the strainer cover and insert the black strainer hole plug to prevent water from draining out of the pool. Then disconnect the pump hoses from the pool. Locate the two B adapters and connect them to each of the black connectors on the pool. Next, unpack the plunger valves and remove the large strainer connectors as they are not needed on this size pool. Do not discard the black step washers on the plunger valves. Attach the plunger valves to the B adapters and close and lock both plunger valves. Connect the lower hose to the pump motor, making sure that the O-ring is in place on the pre-filter inlet. Connect the upper hose to the six-way valve outlet. Secure all connections. You are now ready to fill the pool. Open and lock the plunger valves. Uncover the drain waste valve and direct it to a suitable drain. Make sure the pump motor switch is in the off position and depress the six-way valve, turning it to backwash. Always depress the valve handle to turn it. Connect the motor cord to an AC outlet away from the pool. It must be GFCI or RCD protected. Switch the pump motor on. Water will now circulate backward through the sand and out the drain waste port. Continue in the backwash mode until the water runs clear as observed in the sediment window. Turn the pump off and change the six-way valve to rinse. Turn on and run the pump for a minute to level out the sand after backwashing. Switch off the pump again and turn the handle to filter. Turn on the pump and let it run until the water is clear. If you see bubbles coming up from the pool inlet, check that all connections are tight. Check the sediment valve for clean water. When the sand has been washed clean, record the pressure gauge reading. As dirt accumulates in the sand, the pressure will rise. When it reaches the yellow zone, backwashing will be necessary. Set the timer dial to the desired number of hours and press the switch to timer. See your manual for recommended hours of operation. Before cleaning and maintenance, turn the pump off and disconnect the power cord. Close both plunger valves. Release the pressure by opening the sediment valve on the lower side of the filter housing. Unscrew the leaf trap cover and O-ring. Remove the basket for cleaning with a garden hose. After rinsing the leaf trap and O-ring, reassemble them and close the sediment valve.
With proper maintenance, your sand filter will give you many years of service. Read and understand all of the warnings and cautions in your owner's manual. They are important for proper installation and operation.